any organization need to need for uh, cyber forensics see cyber forensics involves the investigations of computer related crimes cyber attacks malware attacks malicious attacks or any kind of okay uh, crimes providing electronic evidence to support in criminal prosecution of these electronic facilitated crimes that is called the cyber forensics so it is related to computer and network forensics maybe mobile forensics expert and witness and uh, litigation support data recovery digital forensics lab setup cyber crime and digital evidence consulting so cyber forensics also known as digital forensics or computer forensics is a specialized field of forensic science that involves the investigation of digital devices and media to collect and analyze electronic evidence related to cyber crimes cyber forensics involves the use of specialized tools and techniques to collect comma preserve and analyze data from digital devices such as computer the goal of cyber forensics is to identify and analyze evidence related to cyber crime or cyber attack or any breaches or incident which can then be used in legal proceedings such as criminal investigations or civil litigations so the second concept in you know, cyber forensics what are the examples of cyber forensics some common examples of malware attacks collecting and analyzing digital evidence related to the use of malicious software including viruses worms and trojans next example of cyber forensics is identity theft investigating the theft of information such as credit card numbers social security numbers and passports through the use of digital devices and networks and a cyber bully collecting and analyzing digital evidence related to online harassment or bullying or including email social media and instant messaging another cyber fraud and online fraud is a phenomena example of cyber forensics investigating online scams and fraudulent activity such as spam and other types of online fraud sixth one is intellectual property theft collecting and analyzing digital evidence related to the theft of intellectual property such as trade secrets patents and copyrights these are uh, comes under intellectual property theft and uh, seventh one data breaches 
data breaches is example for uh, cyber forensics investigating the authorized access or theft of sensitive information such as personal health information from our financial information or other types of confidential data then uh, the third concept is different types of cyber forensics here is a brief overview of the main types of digital forensics so computer forensics investigates computers and digital storage evidence mobile device forensics you can call it as so there are various types of uh, cyber forensics it may be related to computer forensics mobile device forensics network forensics forensics data analysis data forensics data disk forensics these are types of computer forensics maybe it is a branch of digital forensics digital forensic science concerned with the evidence found in computers and digital storage media it is defined as the discipline that combines elements of law and computer science to collect and analyze data from wireless communications computer systems networks and storage devices in a way that is permissible various types of uh, you can call it as various types of computer forensics okay then uh, types of cyber forensics in detail what is meant by disk forensics it deals with extracting raw data from the primary storage or secondary storage of the device by searching active modified or deleted files so that is called a disk forensics network forensics it is a sub branch of computer forensics that involves monitoring and analyzing the computer network traffic that is called a network forensics database forensics is nothing but it deals with the study and examination of uh, databases and their related metadata if you see uh, any uh, a, 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 any kind of uh, database related information audio video text graphics animation related data then malware forensics deals with the identification of suspicious code or software or snippet studying viruses swarms etc that comes under malware forensics next email forensics it deals with the emails and their recovery and analysis including deleted emails calendars and contacts memory forensics it deals with the collecting data from system memory in raw form and then analyzing it for further investigation that is called memory forensics then uh, seventh one mobile phone forensics it mainly deals with the examination and analysis of phones and smartphones and helps to retrieve contacts call logs incoming and outgoing sms etc sharp message service and other data present in it other data present in it that is called mobile phone forensics then the fourth concept is the steps in cyber forensics the steps involved in cyber forensics investigations 
can vary depending on the specific case and the type of evidence being collected. Throughout the investigation, it is important for the sick examiner to maintain a strict chain of custody of for the digital evidence to ensure that it is admissible in court and that uh, its integrity is not compromised. However, the general steps involved in a cyber forensics investigation may include identification and the preservation. The first step in a cyber forensics investigation is to identify the digital device or media that may contain relevant evidence and to ensure that the evidence is preserved in a forensically sound manner. That is called identification and the preservation. So now what are the steps in cyber forensics? See the obtaining a digital of the instruction system, authenticating and confirming the replica, determining that the copied data is forensically acceptable, recovering deleted files, finding the necessary data with keywords, establishing a technical report. These are the six steps in cyber forensics investigation. The digital forensics process may change from one scenario to another, but it typically consists of four core steps such as collecting the data, examination of the data, analysis of the data, report. So collection and acquisition is nothing but the next step is to collect and acquire the data from the digital device or media. Analysis, once the data has been collected, it must be analyzed to identify any relevant evidence released to the case, related to the case. And the fourth step is reporting. After the analysis is complete, a report detailing the findings and the conclusions of the investigation is prepared. Then presentation. In some cases, a forensic examiner may be required to present their findings in court. That comes under presentation. There are nine steps that the digital forensic specialist usually take while investigating digital evidence. The first one is first response, search and seizure, evidence collection, check for evidence, data acquisition, data analysis, evidence assessment, documentation, finally report. These are the nine steps that the digital forensic specialist usually take while investigating digital evidence. Nine elements of digital forensic process I can take. Receive device as evidence, receive request for examination. In identification, what we are going to do in the cyber forensic process, identify device specification and capabilities, identify goals, goals of examination, identify legal authority for examination. Preparation. Prepare methods and tools to be used. Prepare meet and a forensic workstation for examination. Protect the evidence. Prevent the remote data destruction. Isolate from the network, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. Processing. Conduct forensic acquisition. Perform forensic analysis. Scan for malware. Verification, validate your acquisition, validate your forensic findings. Documenting and reporting, keep notes about your findings and the process. Draft and finalize your forensic reports. 
presentation, prepare exhibits, present your findings. Archiving, keep a copy of data in a split, keep data in common formats for futures. Then computer forensic investigation process model. So model is nothing but simplified version of the reality. The computer forensics, forensic investigation process model typically consists of the following phases or preparation, collection, analysis, reporting, presentation and review. So if you see acquisition, we are collecting the data from the various sources. Identification physical context media, then uh, logical context data, evaluation, legal context information, finally admission as uh, evidence. So this is a computer forensic investigation process model. Then the fifth concept is uh, first response in cyber forensics. First response is a specialist cyber security digital forensics and incident response company that helps organizations navigate the complex issues surrounding systems, breaches, server compromises and data loss. The web is to identify the devices and the resources containing the data that will be part of the investigation. The general phases of the forensic process are the identification of potential evidence, the acquisition of that evidence, the analysis of the evidence and the production of report. The process is predominantly used in computer and mobile forensic investigations and consists of three steps acquisition, analysis and reporting. See, first response is a cyber security and incident response company offering tailored services in response to network breaches. We provide a range of services around computer based IT and network investigations and litigation support to more specialist areas. We see the steps identification, collection, acquisition, reservation, analysis and report. These are the areas like, like the cyber crime training, malware reverse engineering, cyber readiness planning, establishing an instant response framework. So these are the special areas. Call it as okay. And uh, see the next one is a forensic duplication. What is an duplication? It is an accurate copy of data that is created with the goal of being admissible as evidence in legal proceedings. Forensic duplication as an image of every accessible bit from the source key. Data acquisition and duplication hardware tools that can be used to acquire, to create, to duplicate copies of the suspect system data. Maybe, see, we are collecting data through which T3 IO forensic SATA imaging B, Trace Responder, X, XRY Office, Atola Inside Forensics. Okay, these are the tools of uh, data acquisition and uh, duplication hardware tools. US NAT Pro, M Solo 4G Forensic Enterprise Super Kit, Roadmaster 3 x so these are the varied work duplication hardware tools. Forensic duplication also known as 
forensic imaging our forensic cloning is the process of creating an exact bit for bit bit for bit copy of digital media for use in forensic analysis this process is commonly used in the investigation of criminal cases involving this debit such as computers mobile devices and other electronic storage media the goal of forensic duplication is to create an exact copy of the original data including deleted files hidden files and the metadata without altering the original data in any way this shows that the copy is forensically sound and can be used in court as a so forensic duplication process involves five steps identification identify the purpose of investigation identify the resources preservation data is isolate secure analysis identify tool and techniques to use process data interpret analysis results in documentation documentation of the crime scene along with the photographic photographic from a sketchy and the crime scene map presentation process of summarization and the explanation of conclusions is done with the help to gather facts that is called a presentation forensic duplication process next the seventh one is standard operating procedures for disk forensics so that is called as op or agency unique documents describing the methods and procedures to be followed in performing routine operations sop or essential to improve the quality and to implement uniform processes for conducting digital and the multimedia evidence for in six stars in a precise accurate manner the art of extracting forensic information from digital drives such as hard disk drives universal serial bus usb devices floppy compact disks digital versatile devices and the flash drives is known as disk forensics forensic disk controller or hardware write block device is a specialized type of computer hard disk controller made for the purpose of gaining read only access to computer hard drives without the risk of damaging the drives contents these are the steps of forensics methods see first one is evidence identification preservation of evidence chain of custody method for acquiring evidence investigation questions or questions analysis process conclusion forensic methodology is a systematic approach used to collect the data preserve the data and analyze and present evidence in a manner that is acceptable in court of law mobile and the cd are called digital records forensics call detail record is the detailed record of all the telephonic calls that pass through a telephone exchange or any other uh, any other telecommunication signal the cdrs are obtained from ecom companies only the companies can provide the details within one hour after they receive an application from the police officer or the court they used to give them within a reasonable time among the investigating tools 
that the police used to track the accused's exact location. The accused called it a reverse, played a vital role. CDR analysis for VOIP, voice over internet protocol. What is CDR analysis for VOIP termination? See, we can go for a CDR usually, call data records. So, call completion time, actual connection time, and uh, start time of the call, call data nature invitation of a call, then the value of the sitter and call completion. Then see the CDR call detail record analysis is a common technique used in VOIP, voice over internet forensics to investigate communication related incidents. The following are some steps involved in CDR analysis for VOIP, voice over internet protocol. So, collection of CDRs means the first step is to collect the CDRs, all data records. Then, uh, from, uh, from the relevant network devices or uh, servers. Then, extraction of relevant data. Once the CDRs have been collected, the next step is to end extract the relevant data for analysis. The third step is analysis of CDR. The next step is to analyze the exact extracted data. Correlation with other evidence. The CDR data may also be correlated with other evidence. Surveillance, footage or witness statements to build a more complete picture of the incident being investigated. Fifth one is interpretation and uh, reporting. Once the analysis is complete, the results are interpreted and reported in a clear and a concise manner. Then the ninth one is cyber forensics tools. Cyber forensics tools are software applications that help investigators collect collection collection of the data, analyzing of the data, and uh, preserve electronic evidence for use in legal proceedings. Cyber forensics tools are essential for investigators to collect and analyze and preserve electronic evidence for legal proceedings. The choice of tool depends on okay, the choice of tool depends on the specific needs and the challenges of the investigation as well as the budget and the resources available. There are many different cyber forensics tools available, each designed to address specific needs and challenges. Here are some of the most commonly used tools and their functions. NCASE. NCASE is a cyber forensic tool, popular commercial tool that provides comprehensive data acquisition, analysis and reporting capabilities. FTK. Forensic Toolkit. FTK is another commercial tool that is widely used in digital investigations. Third one is Access Data Forensic Toolkit, FTK Imager. FTK Imager is a free tool provided by Access Data that can be used to create forensic images of hard drives and other storage devices. AutoSpy. AutoSpy is a free and open source tool that provides comprehensive forensic analysis capabilities. Spruth Kit. Spruth Kit is another open source tool that provides basic data acquisition and analysis capabilities. Wireshark is a free and open source tool that can be used to analyze network traffic data. Volatility. Volatility is a free and open source tool 
that can be used to analyze memory dumps from a wide range of operating systems. Then the tenth topic is cyber forensics techniques. There are methods used by investigators to collect the data, analyze the data, and preserve digital evidence for use in legal proceedings. These techniques involve a combination of technical and investigate skills as well as knowledge of legal and ethical considerations. Cyber forensics techniques are essential for investigators collect and analyze and preserve digital evidence for legal proceedings. Here are some of the most commonly used cyber forensics techniques like uh, disk imaging. Disk imaging involves creating a bit for bit copy of hard drive or other storage device. Then uh, file carving. File carving is uh, one of the cyber security technique. It involves recovering files from the unlocated space, unallocated space on a hard drive or other storage device. Metadata analysis. Metadata analysis involves examining the metadata associated with files such as creation and modification page and author information and file types. Keyword searching. Keyword searching involves searching for specific words or phrases within files, email messages or other types of data. Timeline analysis. Timeline analysis involves creating a chronological timeline of events based on metadata, file access times and other sources of information. The network traffic analysis. Network traffic analysis involves analyzing the traffic patterns and data flows on network. Memory analysis. Memory analysis involves analyzing the content of computer memory, maybe RAM, maybe row, read-only memory, including processes, files, and the other network connections. So these are the computer forensic techniques like uh, fraud, forgery, intellectual property theft, data theft, bankruptcy, inappropriate internet use. These are the examples of uh, computer forensics. Examples. Okay. Examples of, you can write, examples of uh, cyber forensics. So, it is also called as digital forensics is the process of investigate, and present electronic evidence. The goal of forensics is to collect evidence that can be used in legal proceedings, such as criminal investigations or civil lit civil litigation. So, the last but one uh, before topic, then we will start practicals on cyber forensics. Cyber forensic challenges. Cyber forensics is also known as digital forensics. It involves can call it as this is a digital forensics involves the collection, preservation, analysis and presentation of electronic evidence for use in legal procedures. Cyber forensics investigators face a wide range of challenges that require a combination of technical expertise, legal knowledge, and strategic thinking to overcome. Here are some of the main challenges. Volume of data. The size of the data involved in a digital investigation can be immense. Huge volume. So these are the 
trending top 6 digital forensics research topics like uh, target motion defenses for stealthy partner defense, reliable cloud digital forensics, collecting and analyzing digital evidences, digital steganography, management of security threats, analog security in digital era. So these are the trending cyber forensic challenges. Some of the trending cyber cyber forensic challenges include encryption, uh, cloud computing, internet of things, artificial intelligence and social media. How these cyber forensics challenges comes under encryption? process of converting a readable format to unreadable format. And cloud computing, it is one of the emerging technology in cyber forensics related to my Internet of Things. Collection of uh, uh, real-time objects in a network and sharing the information and performing the right task. That is called Internet of Things, Artificial Intelligence and Social Media. These are the trending top 6 digital forensics research topics. Top 10 digital forensics thesis topics like uh, safeguarding of vital infrastructure, real-time analysis, methodology for event uh, redevelopment. See, these are the thesis topics you can consider research topics, key infrastructure security, traffic flow evaluation, portable and small scale electronics, analysis of the system files and the conservation of forensic evidence, process of extracting files, data exploration, mining and concealment. These are the cyber security challenges like complexity of data. Electronic data is often complex and dynamic and investigators must have a deep understanding of the technical aspects of the data they are working with as well as the systems and applications that they created it. Encryption and privacy. It is also one of the challenge of cyber forensics with the widespread use of encryption and other security measures, investigators may not be able to access the data they need without first breaking through security breaches. Jurisdictional issues. Cyber crime can occur across multiple jurisdictions which can complicate investigations and lead to legal battles over jurisdictional authority. Then the next challenge is rapidly evolving technology. The rapid pace of technological change can take it difficult for investigators to keep up with new technologies, new threats and the new methods of committing cyber crime, cyber criminal sophistication. Cyber criminals are becoming increasingly sophisticated in their techniques, making it harder for investigators to trace the source of a breach or attack. Cooperation and coordination. Cooperation and coordination among law enforcement agencies, government agencies and private industry can be difficult, especially when multiple jurisdictions are involved, evidence tampering, the nature of digital evidence makes it susceptible to tampering, alterations and destruction. So the last topic, cyber forensics algorithms. Algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a particular problem, it's called algorithm or sequence of steps to start the particular. Cyber forensics algorithms are mathematical procedures and techniques that are used to process and analyze digital evidence for legal proceedings. You can call it as 
legal proceedings. So these are the next. These algorithms can help investigators identify patterns, detect anomalies, and ex extract useful information from large amounts of data. Cyber forensics algorithms are essential for the processing and analyzing digital evidence for legal proceedings. Here are some of the most commonly used for cyber forensics algorithms. Okay, so what are the cyber forensics algorithms? Hashing algorithm. Hashing algorithms are used to generate unique digital fingerprints of uh, files and other types of data. Next, uh, encryption algorithm. Encryption algorithms are used to protect sensitive data from unauthorized access. Compression algorithms. Compression algorithms are used to reduce the size of large files such as disk images or network traffic logs. You can call it as data recovery algorithms. Data recovery algorithms are used to recover lost or deleted data from hard drives and other storage devices. Fifth one is machine learning algorithms. We are using various algorithms in cyber forensics detection, cyber forensics prediction. So machine learning algorithms are used to analyze large amounts of data and identifying patterns and anomalies. The last technique is steganography algorithms. Steganography algorithms are used to hide data within other types of data such as audio data, video data, image file, network graph. So with this one theory part is completed. Now I am going to execute the uh, write a Python program that demonstrates how to generate a hash. Hashing is a process of mapping key with value, key and value pair. Okay, using the SHA-256 algorithm. I am sharing this uh, code in the group chat. Please execute yourself and I will also think in my system. Yeah. I have shared uh, this one in the group chat. Please execute all of you. Hello. Please open your systems. So, what I am doing, I am also creating a command prompt. Go to command prompt. Notepad space hashing hashing dot is it action. So please listen. I type Python program that demonstrates how to generate a hash using the SHA scientist. 256 algorithm. So first what, uh, what I am doing here, I will explain in this program. So my screen is visible, please respond. Yes sir. Okay. So first what I am doing, so what is the purpose of uh, I am doing this uh, to generate a hash using SHA-256 algorithm. Uh, first, uh, I am taking uh, import hashlib. It's a library hashlib. Define some data to hash. So, data is equal to B means binary, hello world. Then, uh, create a hash for object hashlib dot SHA-256 is a function. Update the hash object with the data. Hash object dot update of data. Get the hexadecimal representation of the hash. Hex 
underscore dig equal to hash underscore object dot hex highest. Print the hash. Print hex underscore dig. So that is the uh, output of the variable. Now see. Python space see now it is generated hash function which you cannot understand only mission can understand okay so we are generating hash code means we have converted one form to another form so this form by using SHA-256 algorithm. Okay. Next. Second program. Write a Python program for encryption algorithm. encryption algorithm is used to protect the sensitive data from un unauthorized access. Okay. So encryption algorithm. I am doing encryption from cryptography dot fragment import fragment. Define a secret key to use for encryption. Key is equal to fragment dot generate underscore key create an AAR cipher object using the secret key cipher equal to format of key define some data to encrypt data equal to this is XR decimal representation B hello world encrypt the data encrypted underscore data equal to cipher dot encrypt of data print the encrypted data then uh, decrypt Sir, your voice is not on the in the session I think SAR has power issues please don't leave the session
multiplied by 1000 times, compress the data, compressed data equal to gzip compress of data, print the size of the original and the compressed data, print original size length of data, print compressed size length of data, decompress the data. So decompression what we are doing by using gzip algorithm. Print the size of the decompressed data. So I am printing the size of the decompressed data. So I am sharing the group chart. Please execute all of you. Yeah, yeah, one second. Uh, it is coming error. What, what it is coming? Yeah. One second. I am going to uh, uh, execute this one. After that, uh, you can do. Uh, uh, what is the aim of the program? Write a Python program an encryption algorithm used to protect the sensitive data from unauthorized access. That is a second second program. Now I am creating notepad space compression. Compression. Now this is compression data. So Python space the original size is uh, 140 Mbps and compressed uh, I mean uh, uh, here a uh, 14,000 MB original data compressed size is 80 decompressed size is again original data like this we are performing compression of the data. Yeah, please, uh, uh, with this one, uh, practical session is over and two minutes uh, interview questions like, uh, what is your understanding of cyber forensics? Cyber forensics is the process of collecting the data, analyzing and preserving electronic evidence in order to support or refute a hypothesis in a legal matter or an investigation. Second one, can you walk us through your experience with the cyber forensics investigations? Yes, I have uh, experience in conducting cyber forensics investigations for various organizations in different industries. Third one, how do you approach digital evidence preservation during an investigation? Digital evidence preservation is an important aspect in any cyber forensics investigation. Can you describe a particularly challenging cyber forensics investigation you have conducted and how you have handled it? I once conducted a cyber forensics investigation for a large retail company that had suffered a data breach. How do you ensure that the results of your investigations are admissible in court? Ensuring that the results of cyber forensics investigation are admissible in court requires following established best practices for evidence collections and analysis. Define cyber forensics. Cyber forensics, also known as digital forensics, it is the process of collecting, analyzing and preserving electronic data for the purpose of investigating and preventing cyber crimes. List of cyber forensics techniques, data acquisition, data imaging, network traffic analysis, malware analysis, memory forensics, file analysis, mobile forensics, List out cyber forensics tools 
ایم کے سیف ٹی کے فورن سکتول کی ایش آر آٹو سپائی اوئی سیف اوئی سیف ورٹیلی چی سنہ پکیٹ جیو فی ڈی سکلوت کے So with this one, I am closing uh, my session for the cycle forensics. Now you can see uh, your lead project and uh, tool presentations and 